so uh, what we are exactly going to do this are there are certain uh, models are there and uh, in the models we'll be deploying the kubernetes so you will learn how to deploy the openshift cluster you learn about how to uh, in detail about the openshift architecture right as i told you one of the topic called as a source to image you will learn that one guys how to you keep the source code at the github and they automatically your application will get deployed inside the openship cluster how that behaves right so that uh, how that works that will be explained with examples in detail right okay then we will be uh, seeing that how we can deploy the multi container applications because that is very important right you have one pod you have five containers running inside the pod and how you can access the application uh, which is running inside the multiple containers so that is a, a multi-container applications yes you can uh, troubleshooting si that is we will be doing the deployments uh, we will be doing the deployment configurations we will be installing the openshift container uh, container platform okay we will be creating the applications from the web consoles as well as from the command lines and not only normal applications we will be doing uh, use cases which are used in the industry how to deploy the application how to create a database how to link that right so that application will fetch the data from the data database and it will display on the screen right so a lot of things will be there we will be seeing in detail about the uh, describing the exploring openshift networking concepts we'll also see a security of the openshift right how to create users how to create a project how to assign rollback access control there are a lot of security parameters are there that we will be discussing in detail we will be demonstrating it and you will be doing it practically right so you can also the same thing uh, like what you do in the kubernetes how to deploy the persistent storage like a persistent volume persistent volume claim how we can create by using a gui and as well as from the command lines yes guys we can do it from the administrative perspective you can have a resource like uh, monitoring and maintaining the systems by using the metric subsystems like we can use we will see that how the prometheus gets installed how the grafana gets working there because it is already integrated prometheus is already integrated in the openshift and you can in case you want to do you can you can see that right okay now uh, we will also see that uh, operators that is very important uh, we will see that how we can apply the quota uh, that is such as cpu and ram utilization right so we need to allocate the cpu and ram to the applications it should not exceed it right so how to do that one and this is something which is operators we can so sometime new version comes in the market right now 4.6 is going on let's say so tomorrow 4.7 comes so how you can upgrade it so that is done by using the operator over the air over the air that is ota is the concept or definition used by the um, red hat or this okd people that you can upgrade your cluster with just one button click and how to do that you have to come for this operator session guys you will learn about that and of course you can see the exam and cv preparation which is very very important for the uh, job perspective right so this is in nutshell uh, this is a red hat ownership certification path you can do the do 180 and do280 examination out of this one Hey there, I hope you liked this short video and it intrigued your interest in knowing more about OpenShift, a platform from Red Hat powered by Kubernetes under the hood with easy integration with DevOps tools like Ansible and Jenkins. To know more about Red Hat OpenShift, you can register for our free class at k21academy.com forward slash OpenShift02, where our Docker, Kubernetes and OpenShift experts will be talking about why more than 50% of the Fortune 100 companies are now using OpenShift to run microservices and containerized applications, along with job opportunities and how much you can earn working on OpenShift architecture and components of OpenShift. Our 8-week roadmap and 30-plus step-by-step hands-on labs you must perform to learn Red Hat OpenShift for complete beginners. There is also limited time gift for action takers. So, register for our two-hour free class at k21academy.com forward slash openshift02.